Hey everyone, Alec here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the speed of your GIF. So let's say you have an awesome GIF, but you think that it plays through too fast. Well, I'm gonna show you how to slow it down, or it could be the opposite. You have a GIF which plays through too slow and you want to speed it up. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to change the speed of your GIF using Veed's GIF Speed Changer. To get started, you can either head over to Google and Google Veed, which is V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link. If not, as usual, the links are gonna be in the description down below. Once you're on Veed, the first step is to create a new project. And then once you're within Veed's video editor, this is where you want to upload your GIF. So I'm gonna click on upload GIF, select my GIF, and then click on open. And as you can see, our GIF is now imported into Veed's video editor. And if we click play, as you can see, we have our GIF. So if I pause this to change the speed of our GIF, it's very simple. If I select the video, we then have the video settings that appear here in the left toolbar. And as you can see under the speed section, here we have the option to change the speed. So first of all, if I select, let's just say twice as fast, as you can see, our video is now twice as short. And if I click from the beginning and I press play, as you can see, our GIF plays through a lot faster. Now, what you might have noticed is that after the video, there's a blank black video. And to change this, it's very simple. What we have to do into the settings, if we click on the settings tab, here we have the video duration. And what we need to do every time we change the speed of our GIF, we need to click this double edged arrow to adapt the length of our GIF to the length of the timelines. So if I click this right now, as you can see, if I press play right now, it should loop straight away. There we go. This is because when I clicked it, the timeline has now been set to one second long. However, if I set this to four seconds and I click play now, as you can see, we have blank black video at the end. So every time we change the speed of our GIF, this is what you need to do. Now, if I go back to the speed section, let's say I want to slow it down. I'm gonna click on this 0.5 right here. And as you can see now, it's being cut off at the end. So what we need to do again is go back to the settings tab and click on the double edged arrow. And now the length of the timeline has been adapted to the length of our GIF. So now if I play from the beginning, as you can see, we have our slower GIF. Now, as you can see, as soon as I leave the frame, I want the GIF to end. So that way when it loops, it goes a lot faster. So I'm just gonna click on the split tool right here and then just select this and delete it. And now if I go back to settings, adapt the length of the timeline to my video, it will loop through a lot faster. As soon as it ends, the video begins again. And that is how to speed up or slow down your GIF. If you have any questions, we would love to hear them in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.